What up, YouTube? This is Burns Band 94. How y'all doing? I hope you and your family and loved ones are safe and sound wherever you are in the world. I have thoughts and prayers to those people in Turkey and Syria over that massive earthquake. Over 3,000 people displaced and presumed dead. The worst thing about earthquakes on their buildings is when they're reinforced steel concrete buildings, when they break. The debris is so heavy it can crush a human being and their legs and their torso. I've seen videos on dark web where you know an earthquake happened in Turkey and a woman and her child were um, crushed and their torso and their lower body was crushed with a big block of concrete that collapsed from the earthquake damage. So it's very tragic and terrifying. And it also happens in Greece too, so I hope those... People have the right resources to save them, as many as possible. But anyway, I want to do a video review about... Um, there's been a lot of toxic toxicity in the demand community about hypothetical anime battles, for that reason. Like Clyde exposing uh, Seth the Programmer. If y'all not familiar with that, don't be. Okay, because they're like, who? Doesn't really matter. But I want to talk about a, uh, a very successful YouTuber. And his channel goes by the name of Josh Inspires. And his take about Saitama and characters, um, hypothetical about Saitama versus Goku. Specifically that video that he talks about. And he has several videos going back and forth with other YouTubers about it. He raises some pretty valid points. Others are really minor points and pathetic and he's just cherry picking a lot. So I want to talk about this guy. He talks about Saitama versus Goku. And he says that Saitama is a gag and parody character. Okay, you can say that. Even though he showed Murata, who was just the artist and not the author, saying that Saitama is a gag character. Okay, and in recent chapters of One Punch Man kind of like put that to bed and just completely debunked the fact that Saitama is merely just a gag character because One Punch Man and One Sensei simply designed him that way. But first, let's go over some of the reasons and rationales as to why he thinks Saitama beats Goku anyway, which would never add up. He goes on and talks about how Saitama broke his limiter. Okay, so understand this. He's kind of half right. So that means you're kind of truthful in that uh, depiction. The scientist, after he... One shot at Carnage Carbato said that Saitama removed his limiter. He didn't just break it. He already broke it uh, two years of his training. He already broke it two years of his training. He removed his limiter. That's a very big distinction between breaking a limiter. That's very distinct from actually breaking a limiter. Because Saitama already did that with his basic workout of just running six miles... 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 100 push-ups. So Saitama, with his limitless strength, in your opinion... By the way, Saitama isn't the only character, the first character, to claim uh, limitless strength or seemingly proclaim to have infin infinite or invincible levels of strength. I mean, this caused him Superman, Superman 1 million, Prime, and other characters like that, or Odin for that reason, or Zeus, for example. Um, he removed his limiter. So let's get that one correction out of the way. Not a bad start. Another example would be he's trying to um, argue semantics about Saitama's um, title and the name of his show like it's relevant. Talks about Batman is in Batman when we know that Batman cosplays a bat and like Selena Kyle, his BFF, or secret lover is not a cat. She can communicate with cats. She causes a cat and she's a burglar. She's a cat burglar at that. And it doesn't make any sense to me. Like it really is relevant. So One Punch Man, Saitama is not called One Punch Man in the series. He's actually called Cape Baldy. Another correction out of the way. And another thing, he talks about like how when, um, he talks about when Boros, um, Boros, the dominant universe, says that he can he can't sense a cap on Saitama's energy. Okay, 
since when is Boros the strongest person Saitama has ever fought? And since when is Boros stronger than said characters like, say, Frieza, who is, can blast a planet 15 times the mass of Earth in base? Perfect Cell, who is solar system level and can easily rupture all of the planets in the solar system's cores. He can rupture every single planet's core with a Kamehameha and eviscerate the entire solar system. Or like Kid Buu, who was casually blasting planets with only like a digit percent of his pow- uh, power like that. I mean, it doesn't make any sense at all, okay? So Boros says that he cancels the cap on Saitama. Boros is just one character, okay? And he doesn't have as much technique in martial arts, say like Garo, Shiryu, or Bang, for that matter. And while Boros can probably dog ship Bang... Bang still has more technique regardless, like reversing punches and all that other thing that he can do. So I don't know where Josh is trying to go with this, saying that Saitama... Now, another thing that Josh brings up, he talks about the Hakai having limits. He's not wrong. Hakai does have limits, varying on the user. Frieza and Golden Form Frieza... uh, Golden Frieza, actually, excuse me. Uses it against Goku. Goku was hurt. He was caught off guard, but he still survived it. But um, this is why Jiren doesn't really need to use Hakai. Um, has to use Hakai because of his insane, overwhelming power. And Tapo just a, a micro Hakai destroyed Frieza's strongest attack in golden form. So it doesn't really do much for him. <laughs> you know, that's just so crazy and impressive. And um, just unbelievable in many cases. Now, the Hakai is not end all be all. It isn't, I would argue that. Hakai is strengthened, very on the user. However, Hakai has been shown to be effective against multiple beings. Beerus used against Dr. Masterito easily. Beerus. Defeated Arale, I don't know why people try to argue that he did beat her. Beating Arale, one way of beating her is to remove her head. She's a cyborg. Duh. And he could have used Hokai on Arale, and by the grace of plot armor and a stomach ache, it saved and spared that dumb bitch. <laughs> it spared uh, Arale. Okay, I don't understand why people think that Beerus didn't actually defeat Arale. Okay, there are multiple, there's, that is one method of defeating Arale, even Steven Lee. And that would be, and Goku, manga Goku, used the Hakai against Murzamasu, proving that it can work against stronger beings. Okay? And so, there's also one of his videos, Jaws argues that destroyed half of him. Without actually looking at the full context, that Mai uh, interfered and Zamasu used her as a shield. So that puts out the bed. Okay? I don't even know how, and the reason why I bring up, he talks about. It's a, it's the summit is the summit of hypocrisy, because while he's saying that Saitama beats Goku, and he says that the Hakai is an end all be all, he's saying he said that Saitama, why would he not be called One Punch Man if it weren't the case that he couldn't one punch anything and anybody? Wouldn't that mean that Saitama's gag, if you think if you're getting described as that one punching, would mean that? That's like an end-all, be-all, because you're describing and saying that Saitama's one-punching gag can work on virtually anybody. That means omnipotent beings, uh, hyperversal beings, multiversal beings, omniversal beings, universal beings, everyone else like that is all the above. Don't fuck with Saitama because you actually have this high overestimation of Saitama beating other characters. Like, I don't get you, bro. I don't get you whatsoever. You're saying the Hakai's not end all be all, but you're actually um, projecting Saitama being an end all be all, that he's done that to characters consistently in his show. Boros, Bang, Spear Sound Sonic, Shiryu, <laughs> and Garo into the chat. Okay? One, Saitama punched Garo multiple times, and while Saitama held back and understood enough force would be taken to take out Garo. Garo also survived. So how does that, how does that work? 
So you're saying that Saitama is consistently does in his show that he would beat Goku? Are you saying that Boros is stronger than Goku? No, no. That Cyclops can't even beat Piccolo. Okay. Anyway, I'll get back to this later. Um, I will edit this video much more sophisticatedly um, and um, professionally and better to example uh, to um, to um, and to point out all my arguments thoroughly and chronologically as best as I can because this chapter is not done. I don't know what's with Josh. I would argue my I argue my assessment of Josh and Spice's channel, the guy the guy, he seems genuine, but he's intellectually disingenuous. And he's just trying to have a fan base that just sucks up to him for some reason. I'm not sure why. But he got famous for that um that controversial video between Saitama and Goku. And to me, it's just like, you know, he he gets it all wrong. Absolutely not. And he doesn't do his research thoroughly. You know, he even he doesn't even do gag, genuine gag and parody characters any justice or carries water for them when he's trying to defend Saitama. He says Saitama broke his limiter. He removed it. It's a big distinction. Okay, it does matter. Okay, and I'm like why would you do that, man? I mean, you're supposed to be in the YouTube community and you don't get to fame um, by merely lying about it. You know I mean? He left out very uh, significant details about Saitama's character and his development. And <clears throat> so overall, <clears throat> Josh Aspires, he, he comes across, he's a successful YouTuber, <clears throat> but he's untrustworthy and not that sophisticated at these hypothetical anime battles. Because at the end of the day, they're just fiction. Saitama versus Goku. Goku versus Saitama. Fanbase legend against the new kid on the block fanbase. <clears throat> it's all fiction at the end of the day. But anyway, that was just my two cents on it. Um, this has been Burjman994. If you like the video, please leave a like and a sub and give me video suggestions. Always appreciate that. Support me on YouTube and Facebook as well. And all that being said, please stay safe and hold your loved ones closer and tighter. And I will bounce.